This is a Casio MTP1381D stainless steel watch by Casio. It's a um, dress watch with a full weekday complication and a date window. The case diameter is 39.9 millimeters. It has a case thickness of 8.9 millimeters, a lug to lug height of 46.6 millimeters, and a lug width of 20 millimeters. The case back is a solid case back with the, some engraving on it. It has a push pull crown, as you can see, a mineral crystal, and 15 meters of water resistance. It's a quartz movement, uh, has a silver dial and a textured silver dial, but we'll get to that in a bit. The hour markers are applied with printed minute tracks. It says at the bottom that it's a Japan movement. The bracelet itself is a hybrid jubilee, a hybrid, I guess, oyster bracelet with polished center links. It's not the best bracelet. It is it is a cheap watch or a more affordable watch, so you can't really expect much. The bracelet is comfortable, but it has that, that lack of uh, flexibility. The clasp itself is really good. It has quite a few micro adjustments. Um, letting you get the perfect fit as you can see there are four positions for the bracelet itself so you can get quite a good fit i like say even a seiko sharp which costs a lot more than this at the time of making this video i saw that this watch you can get it for about 50 usd so it's quite an affordable watch Quite a sleek design. It looks has a really dressy, classy look to it. And again, I really like day date complications in a watch, and this is one of the more affordable day date watches you can get out there. With the dial and the dial design, dial color, and case shape, uh, it, it looks good both on the bracelet and with on straps so you can actually switch this out and it'll look really good i like i said it, it's quite an affordable watch to get for you to get especially if you want a classy looking day date watch but it is very loud the ticking on this watch it's one of the loudest you wouldn't you might not hear it in this video but this is probably the loudest watch i own uh, and so if you're in a very quiet environment, uh, you will hear the watch, especially if you're sleeping with the watch on, like I, I wear my watch all the time. So if you sleep with your watch, you will hear the ticking for this one. Now the dial design itself, I find it quite distracting. With everything being shiny silver, you have these lines radial lines i guess you could say uh going from the center all the way out it makes it very difficult to read the watch sometimes uh, under certain lighting conditions because you it's not impossible but you will take a bit longer to read the watch and one of the things that i one of the my requirements i guess for a watch is easy legibility so this one i got because i really like the day date this watch comes in a couple different dial variations so this is the silver one it comes in a black one and i think uh cream colored one i can't remember now i think the black one might be easier to read than this one but i got this because i wanted a white dial silver dial watch uh, at that time uh that's it I think I would have been better off with the black dial. For the function of the watch, this, uh, the first position will change the day and the date. Just a quick set uh, function. 
and then pull it again. Uh, it stops the so it's a hacking movement. It stops the second hand, and then you can adjust the watch itself. It's a very smooth operation. Now I think maybe that's just because it's a quartz watch. I don't have that many quartz watches, so I can't really compare. But compared to a lot of my mechanical and automatic watches, this is quite a smooth movement. And yeah, that's a quick review of this watch. Now, would I would I recommend buying this watch? If you're on a tight budget or this is your first watch, uh, I think, yeah, it's, an, it's a very nice looking watch for the price point. But I think if you're able to spend a bit more, uh, there are better watches out there than this one, especially because of the ticking. Now, it's just basically the ticking that gets annoying. So if you're okay with the sound, I guess it's fine. The other thing is the bracelet feels quite cheap, but again, that's the uh, you're paying 50 USD for this watch, so you can't really expect too much. Now, once you put it on a leather bracelet or leather strap, yeah, that, that fixes the issue. The other thing, I guess what I covered before is the legibility. That's the one thing that prevents me from prevents me from wearing this watch too too often it's because of how uh, how difficult I guess it's not easy to read I won't say that it's impossible to read or really really difficult to read but it's not instantly legible when you glance at the watch so that to me is quite a weak point thank you for watching if you like this video please remember to like and subscribe